So I'm starting today's video with a public service announcement. If you have not got yourself to Aldi's and tried these Jamaican rum mince tarts, you really need to get down there. They're only £2.49 for six and they are absolutely delicious and it just goes to show that you do not need to spend a fortune on luxury mince pies. These are so good for that price. So welcome to another What's For Dinner video. I'm gonna take you through some of the things we eat as a family of five over the course of a week. Let's go and have a look. So I'm just making a start on tonight's dinner and I'm gonna make a gammon, chicken and leek pie. So I've got two gammon steaks here that need using up. I've cheated and bought some puff pastry blocks because I'm not very good at making pastry. I've got 750 grams of diced chicken. I've got some lighter creme fraiche and some flour, some leeks, which obviously need a wash, they're pretty grubby. I'm gonna put some oregano and basil, some chicken stock and garlic. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start off by frying off my leeks with the garlic and then add the chopped gammon and the chicken and then we can add the other bits in to make our sauce. It's really, really simple this one, it doesn't take very long at all. And I will leave the recipe that I've based it on in the description box. But yeah, I'm gonna wash these leeks and start chopping. some oil in my pan. I'm actually using grapeseed oil rather than spray oil this time. And I'm just gonna pop my leeks in. And we do these really low and slow because otherwise they can burn and go bitter. So I've removed my leeks and just put them in a bowl. I've also got my garlic cube in here. I just let that defrost and cooked it around with the leeks a little bit. And what I wanna do now is really crisp up my gammon because I want it like nice and sort of browned. So I'm going to heat the pan back up really hot and then I'm going to pop in my gammon. Once that starts to go brown, I'm going to add my chicken. And now my gammon's gone nice and crispy, I'm just going to add in my chicken. Right, now my chicken has started to brown. I'm just gonna add in a little bit of basil. You could add parsley or thyme. I'm just gonna a little bit of that, a little bit of oregano. A little bit of oregano, probably about half a teaspoon of each. And about 50 grams of plain flour. I'm just gonna stir that through for about 30 seconds or so, just so that the flour starts to cook and it coats the chicken and the bacon. I'm also going to add my leeks back in at this point. Meanwhile, I've made up half a litre of chicken stock, just using a stock cube. I'm going to let that cook for about 30 seconds. Right, now I'm going to add in my chicken stock. I'm going to cook that for probably five to eight minutes now and let it thicken a little bit. Then I'm going to remove it from the heat and add my creme fraiche. And then that will be our base pretty much done. All we're going to have to do is season it with some salt and pepper. So give that a low boil for about eight minutes until your sauce has thickened. And then we'll add our last bit. So now my sauce has thickened really nicely. What I'm going to do, well I've actually turned off the heat. Um, stirred it around a bit so it's not boiling and then I'm going to add in my creme fraiche. I've got about about 150 ml, just what's left over from another recipe. I'm just going to add that in. You can skip this stage because the sauce is really nice as it is. This makes it really, really creamy and I think we're just going to serve it with some mashed potato and possibly some like, honey glazed carrots. Um, but I always say that and then I end up just doing broccoli, so we'll see. Maybe peas. I don't know. I feel like peas could go nicely. Anyway, so I'm just going to stir through the creme fraiche. And then I'm going to leave this to cool completely. <laughs> Bless you. Um, leave this to cool completely. And I think what I might do is pop it into individual serving dishes. And then roll out my pastry. And then it will go in the oven for later on tonight. It's looking really, really good. So here are my pies ready to go in the oven. I've just rolled out my puff pastry. I've brushed them with a little bit of egg and put a little cross in the top of each one. Now I'm gonna pop these in the oven, probably about 25 minutes. And we're doing some mash and some honey glazed carrots. And I've got egg, 
everywhere because <laughs> I'm messy. So here are pies out of the oven. We've just got some mashed potato and I've done my carrots. I boiled them and then I added some honey and some butter after I drained them and boiled it some more so they've kind of glazed a little bit and the puff pastry has puffed up. I will show you another one. So this is for my son that doesn't eat mash. He's just got some homemade wedges. And then this one kind of shows how the puff pastry did puff up really nicely. And yeah, this is what we have for our dinner tonight. So for tonight's dinner, we have done the M&S meal deal. So this is the two pizzas and two sides for 12 pound. So we've got, I can't remember what the pizza's called, uh, magnificently meaty so it's got like smoked bacon pepperoni some char grilled chicken we've got the jalapeno poppers which are these little balls here and then we've got the burger spring rolls with the burger sauce dip and then i've also done some loaded no sorry dirty fries so basically you cook your chips and then you season them with this seasoning and then you mix some sour cream with a little bit more of this seasoning and put that on your chips then you top it with cheese and toppings of your choice so i'm just doing spring onion i would probably do bacon and things if we weren't having all the other bits and yeah this is what is for dinner tonight so an MS meal deal with a little bit of loaded fries and that way it makes it stretch enough for all of us to share for 12 pound so yeah this is what is for dinner so for tonight's dinner we have got a barbecue sausage chili don't knock it till you've tried it so it's the richmond barbecue sausages i've just skinned them fried them up in a pan like dry fried them and then added your usual kidney beans tomatoes a seasoning mix and some tomato puree some smoked paprika and some chili powder and yen and yen <laughs> And then, yeah, this is what we've got for our dinner tonight. And we're just going to put a little bit of grated cheese on the top. <laughs> we've got leftover pastry, so I'm making cheese straws. But I asked the advice of my mother, and look what's happened. <laughs> roll it out, she said. Fold it over and roll it out. I suppose if I cut it like that. She's no chef, my mum. <laughs> See, she's been on Master Chef, but was rejected. She got thrown <laughs> off. Look at it. Um... <laughs> I suppose I could just cut it into yes. strips and twist it. Yeah. Oh, lovely. Yeah, great. <laughs> Pretty looks like the River Thames. Look at it. <laughs> okay, so for something I kind of threw together using the leftover pie pastry and some grated cheese, they don't actually look too bad considering the disaster they looked when um, I first started rolling them out. Some of them could even pass for proper cheese twists. <laughs> some of them, maybe not so much. That one is a little bit like a slug. Um, yeah, so I just thought these would be good rather than not knowing what to do with the pastry. And I can just stick a few in the boys' lunch boxes. They'll get eaten. They won't last very long at all. I'm just starting tonight's dinner. So in here, I have made a mess by the way, because I was making those stupid cheese straws. In here I've got peppers and onions. I've got a pack of chicken thighs that I need to use before, I don't know, I've got a couple of days left. So they need using up. So I've just chopped those up. I've got some fajita seasoning. And I think what I'm going to do, obviously, is make some kind of chicken fajita. But I haven't got a lot of cheese to make like wraps with it so what I might do is cook some rice with it maybe add a tin of tomatoes and have it as a more saucy fajita chicken dish on rice and then I've got two trays this size of butternut squash so I'm going to roast that in the oven as well I'm also going to chop up two leeks and whatever mushrooms and things I've got left in the fridge because I'm going shopping tomorrow and then Steve and I will have the chicken on the veg the boys will have rice and probably some veg on the side. And then whatever's left from the roast veg tomorrow, I'm going to put into my tomato and orzo soup. So I'm going to stick this in the oven now. I've just sprayed it with some oil. I'm going to shake some sort of seasoning over it. Probably, definitely salt, maybe some onion powder or something. A bit chilli flakes. And I'll show you as it all comes together. So I've added my chicken and my fajita seasoning to the pan. I've only actually used one so far because although it's like one packet per 500 grams of seasoning, I just... Ow. Just taste it. I've just cut my finger on the um, lid of the tomatoes. I knew I did. I could feel it. And I'm like, oh, they, those those little tiny cuts that hurt the most. So I'm going to clean that up. But yeah, I'm going to add in my tin of tomatoes. It actually tasted quite spicy and really full of flavour just using one packet. So I'm just going to add in my tomatoes. What I was trying to say is that I will then see if 
I think it needs another packet of seasoning or not because it does taste like it's got quite a lot of flavour. So. so here we are served up. I'll just show you mine because I've just got the veg. So I've got my butternut squash, my leeks and my chicken on the top. This is one of the boys. So they've got the leeks, some butternut. There's rice underneath there. And then they've got some cheese on top of theirs as well. But yeah, this is what we're having for dinner tonight. Kind of like a fajita rice veggie bowl. Thingy. I'm just throwing together a soup. I'm actually watching my own video to see how I did it last time. Um, basically, I've got some red wine vinegar in here, and I've put some. I've chopped up an onion. I would usually use balsamic, but I haven't got any, so I'm using red wine vinegar. Just making up as I go along. But I've got some. Oh, now we're spitting. I've got some roasted veg left over. That I'm going to put in. I've got a cube of garlic. Um, from the freezer and I've also got one of my like wellness shots so this is what I make with um, turmeric, ginger, lime juice, um, black pepper that kind of thing but I freeze it in ice cubes and I normally defrost one and drink it but I thought it would probably go quite nicely in a soup it will add some flavour but it will also add some of the like goodness of those little shots so I'm also going to add peeled plum tomatoes like tin tomatoes to this in here I've got mushrooms, leeks and what's the orange thing? Butternut squash. I've also got um, turmeric on my hand, which is not not the one really, is it? I'm going to mix this around. I'm going to add orzo, I'm going to add feta. I did make it last time, um, I explained in more detail. I'm also going to add some chicken stock and then we blitz it up, add our feta, add our orzo. One of the nicest soups. Last time I added so much chilli. But I think I'm going to do it again because it actually came out really well. So I'd like to put a chicken breast in as well, but they're all frozen. So I might see if I can dig one out. And so I had a bit of a disaster with a tin opener. I really thought I'd filmed that part. Uh, basically, I was asking for recommendations on tin openers because I could not get the tin of tomatoes open. And I thought I filmed it. I actually went out to the van and got one out of there. And that wouldn't work either. So I ended up using a knife and a spoon. And yeah, a bit of a disaster. <laughs> The soup came out really, really well. I've got two portions left. We have had it for lunches today as well. So after I added the tomatoes, I let it all boil. And then I blitzed it, added in some orzo and some feta cheese. Let that sort of melt. You can still see some of it. This is such an amazing soup. Like I said, I did film the recipe a few videos back. You can see it in the thumbnail. Really, really simple. And it's one that you can just throw anything in. And it freezes really well. Siren's really snoring. And it's also really, really thick. And yeah, just a perfect wintry soup. So I'm going to pop the lids back on these, put it in the fridge. And that's some more lunches for tomorrow. And yeah, if anyone has got any recommendations of a really, really decent tin opener, then please let me know because I am having a nightmare at the moment. Did you make it? Did you break free? Did you manage to be who you want to be? Maybe somewhere you think about me too